Hello, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another RuneLite tutorial. And in today's tutorial, we are going over how to enable and use a menu entry swapper. So let's get started. So a lot of people will say, what is menu entry swapper? And basically menu entry swapper, it enables you to be able to change your default left click and your default shift click options. Basically, it just lets you do easy quality of life things more simply and a lot easier. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and load up your plugins on the right side of your screen. And you want to go ahead and search in a menu entry swapper or just menu and it will come up. Then we want to turn this on. And for the purpose of this video, we will just go ahead and just reset all of our plugin configuration so we can go through it all together. So the first thing you want to be looking at is item swaps. And then if we go ahead and have a look in here, it says you can customize left click. We have that on ticked. We have customize shift click on ticked as well. For the Ardoin cloak, we have that on wear. For berry bones, we do not have that ticked. For clean, we don't have that ticked. Uh, for desert amulet, we have that on wear. For the Karamja gloves, is the first thing we actually change. And we have that, instead of clicking on it to wear it, you click on it and it'll take you directly to Dorida. Mauritania legs, we changed that as well. We changed that from wear to Burke the Rot. The main reason I put it on Burke the Rot rather than the Ectofunctus is because you can use the Ecto file to get to the Ectofunctus. Next up is Radar's Blessing. We leave this on equipped because it is very good for Slayer training. And next up is Tele 2 poh I don't use my construction cape when I want to teleport to my POH or I used to use teleport to house tabs but now I just use my max cape because that can get me to a lot of places around the game but if you guys wanted to you could do this to use as a one click teleport but I've never had to use it so mine's unticked. Next one is teleport item We've, we have left that unticked so now we are actually moving on to NPC swaps. So customize left and shift click. We keep that on ticked again. Shift click to walk here. Uh, that is ticked. Assignments. That is also ticked. Chase. Uh, that is left click. This is for when your cat is chasing the rats. Deposit items. I've left that alone. Essence mine teleport. I've also left that alone. The exchanges for the bank exchange. Again, I've got that ticked help i've got that ticked as well uh, pay i've got that unticked remove dead npc menus i've left that alone teleport to the abyss i've got that unticked temporal ross leave i've got that unticked because i do plan on doing a lot of temporal ross soon trade as well i've got that unticked and travel that is unticked as well now let's go over to object swaps so object swaps customize left and shift click is ticked shift click to walk here is unticked admire is ticked bait unticked bird houses is ticked fairy rings is to last destination i probably am going to change this to configure harpoon i've put that on ticked home i've left that on home jewelry box i've got that on tick so it'll take you to the last place you teleported to pick i've left that off Portal Nexus, I've left that off, but I might turn this on because I'm doing a lot of barrows in an upcoming video. Private, I've left that unticked. Quick pass, open, start or travel, that is ticked. Reset is also ticked. Stairs left click, I leave that on climb. And stairs shift click, I leave that on climb as well. And for the UI swaps, it is bank deposit, shift click is off. Bank withdraw or shift click is also off. GE bar is unticked. GE collect item, I've got that on default. Shop buy, shift click, I've got that on off. And shop sell, shift click, I've got that on off as well. And then on tanning, uh, I've swapped tan all to, from tan one to tan all. And then finally, for the last one, which is ground item swaps, I have that on unticked. And they are my settings for the menu entry swapper plugin. Like I said, you guys can just go through this by yourself i'm just showing you what i use but that is going to conclude this video so i hope you guys have all enjoyed and if you have enjoyed please like comment subscribe it really will help the channel grow let me know some more rune like guides you'd like me to cover here in the future i have been ben hope you guys have all enjoyed nevertheless and i will catch you in the next rune like video goodbye
If you guys are looking around for your newest game, make sure to check out cdkeys.com because they have the cheapest CD keys available on the internet for pretty much every game, even new releases. I'll drop a link down below if you guys want to check them out.